Welcome back to the Ramadan Daily, y'all. It is day three, I believe, of the Ramadan Daily vlogs, but it's actually day one of Ramadan for us. And we're pretty much almost towards the end. It's been a very, very busy morning slash afternoon, but I feel like it's been pretty good. Like, I feel fine. I'm actually not hungry or thirsty at all, alhamdulillah. So I would say it's a pretty positive start to the day. I just uploaded the first Ramadan daily video and I've been reading all your comments and seeing your excitement. So I'm really excited about it as well. Right now we're headed to the fashion district to pick up some, some supplies, I guess. Um, and then just go on a walk. We haven't like, oh, I forgot my aura ring. Oh well. I haven't really like done any sort of activity today other than sit on the couch. So we're gonna get some steps in, get some exercise. Um, I chose not to work out on the first day of Ramadan because I wanted to just get my bearings a little bit and just see what my energy levels would be. And honestly, we're doing good. I had soup, that soup that I made yesterday for Iftar or for um, Suhoor and three dates and honestly, that was, that was a really good recipe, so hopefully you guys follow it as well. Um, and yeah, let's go on a little walk. I'm about to close in like five minutes. <laughs> oh, my husband's making a leather bag of some sort. This man is in and out of the fashion district all the time. So remember when I said like I was doing well? I'm not doing well anymore. Um, I'm actually exhausted and oh one sec let me clean the screen oopsie um yeah i'm like lightheaded i'm tired and um i cannot wait for iftar i don't think i'm gonna cook tonight i'm just gonna have the soup but i am gonna make some literally i don't even have energy to talk right now i'm gonna make some rice to go with the soup um so that it's a little bit more like filling and substantial but i think that's all we're gonna eat tonight to be honest yeah, um, I did want to do some unboxings though because I want to make some new packages, but this one specifically I'm like really excited for. Um, the brand Freya. I feel like if you are like on fashion Instagram, you probably will serve this ad at some point from this brand, Freya New York. But they reached out wanting to send one of their bags and. I've actually been looking for a new work bag, so I'm really excited for this one. I was really debating on whether or not I should get black, but I decided against it because, I don't know, I feel like I always have black bags, you know? But the gag is I actually don't. I feel like I tell myself I always have black bags, so I don't want to get black bags, and then I don't get black bags, and all I have is brown. But it is what it is. This is the bag. They have really beautiful, like, traditional work bags that you can carry on your shoulder um, that are more, like, wide. But I thought it would be fun to get something with a slightly more interesting design because, you know, I just wanted that. <laughs> so this is kind of like a bucket bag, but I believe it still fits, like, a 13-inch MacBook making it perfect and what is this oh cute i didn't even realize it came with this a little like pouch and this leather feels really good i think it's vegan leather but it feels like regular leather it's like very very soft i'm kind of curious to see if it'll actually fit my laptop though i'm gonna go grab it like it almost looks a little too small to fit it but it does wow 
Wow, that's actually incredible. It fit it perfectly and there's still like so much room in here. I love it. I can wear it kind of like this. I can wear it like that. I love this. Okay, I'm very happy. I'll link this below in case you guys want to check it out as well. Um, but they're pretty affordable for like the quality, I would say. So I think their bags range around like $300, which for like this type of bag, for like a good quality work bag, I think that's pretty good. And they have some like better options for work bag. Like if you're actually like a corporate girly and need a bag with like a bunch of different compartments and like a zipper and all that kind of stuff, like they have those kind of bags too. This one's more just like a big bucket. But I love it. I love her so much. So cute. Carefully considered foundation pieces handmade with exceptional ingredients crafted in small batches and designed with love in New York City. Super cute. Thank you so much, Freya. It's just about time to break fast and warm up some soup for us so I'm just gonna do it in here just so I don't have to warm up like everything separately but we had this soup last night and it was so good like so so good I guess that was this morning but yeah we're gonna have it with some rice so the rice is almost done we're gonna like top it with this so it'll be like a delicious protein packed meal with a ton of veggies okay i think this is like more than enough this might be a little too much i not have a big enough container for this to store in the fridge so i'm just using the full thing time to break fast let me just make sure it's like um oh yeah my five came in over five minutes ago, so miss me that. Ooh, and I have this as part of my collection with Modern Eid, and it has a dua that you say as you break your fast. So, Allahumma inni bakasamtu wa bika amantu wa alayka tawakkaltu wa ala rizqika iftartu. Miss me that. My husband's still in a meeting right now, so I'm gonna bring him some dates. So he could break as fast as well. Mm. I can't believe I used to not like dates. That is so crazy. Mm, rice is done. Okay, it's my favorite time of night where I finally get to light up all of the lights in this home. Starting with these. Yay! I have a bunch of these little tea lights and I just kind of stick them in everywhere. I also have the bakur going in there. It smells so good. Oh my god. forget about the Ramadan Mubarak signs. I wish these had like a like a remote or something because it's kind of annoying having to switch it off every night myself but they're so beautiful I don't mind. Oopsies. Ah! Why am I trying to do this with one hand right now? Okay. Oh there we go. with the view in the background, mashallah. We're gonna ignore the mess, but now everything is so beautifully lit. Oh, I love it so much. I also recently just got this sunset lamp. That's really cool. And, oh, I just unplugged it. <laughs> if I turn it on, it just like creates this beautiful, like sunset vibe. Oh, so, so gorgeous. Okay, anyways, I have wasted enough time my husband's got to get off this call. I'm hungry.
What's up, y'all? It is the end of the night. It's like 9 o'clock right now, and I'm just about to, like, wind down and relax a little bit. Um, I just finished praying Aisha. My lips are so dry. <sighs> I realized I didn't really vlog much today because it was the first day of Ramadan, and I was just kind of trying to get my bearings, especially with, like, work and stuff. It just got, like, super busy out of nowhere. And unfortunately, it's just going to continue getting busier, but it is what it is. Um, I wanted to just basically have a little girl chat with you guys because I feel like it's been a while. Um, you know, I have kind of shared more vlogs lately, but I haven't necessarily, like, actually took the time to talk to you guys. Um, and I kind of know why. I, I feel like for the first time in a while, actually, that's a lie. It's not really for the first time. But lately, I've just been feeling like this fear of being perceived online. Um, I think there's just been a huge increase of like toxicity on social media and it's something that like because I've been online since 2011 um, it's something that is kind of new to me like I feel like because TikTok and social media has become this big thing where like essentially everyone has their own platform and can say whatever and say their opinions whether they're positive or negative um, it's just created this really strange atmosphere um, and I'm I'm kind of uncomfortable by it um, and I feel like I've been su like subconsciously becoming less personal and becoming less vulnerable with my online community which is like something I never wanted to do but that's kind of why you've seen like the slowdown of vlogs and like all of that and obviously with the Ramadan daily like you guys are seeing oh god I need to like this hijab is so tight this is a new China Tanko scarf I just need to like rip some of the threads so that I can breathe a little but yeah with the Ramadan daily obviously you guys are going to be seeing my daily life so I have to kind of get over that fear of perception and being perceived um and yeah I I don't know like I for example have purposely not really talked much about my health journey and my workout routines and all that like yes I've kind of shared it here and there but I haven't really like talk to you guys about how much weight I've lost if I've been losing weight like I feel like I used to like be so like oh my god guys like I didn't lose weight this week blah blah like I would check in so much but I've just like decided not to because I don't know like comments about my weight you know half the comments will be like oh my god she's getting skinny um insinuating that I'm taking certain things and then the other half is like oh my god she's so fat like is she pregnant and it's like <sighs> But it just, it just sucks. Like, it, it does suck seeing those kind of comments. And it, it kind of, like, deters me from wanting to post more. Um, but that's not going to stop me, essentially. Because this Ramadan, I am going to continue training. And I am actively on my health journey. Whether that means I lose weight or I just look better. Whatever it is. Um, my trainer, thankfully, has this really positive outlook on workouts in terms of like she doesn't focus on like the weight lost she focuses on like body recomposition and I feel like that has been such a positive change for me I've gotten so many comments from people being like wow you've lost so much weight when in reality they just mean my body looks different I've gained a lot of muscle and that doesn't necessarily always translate on the scale but this Ramadan I'm gonna like actually show you guys what I've been doing um, naturally through these daily vlogs you're gonna see me working out um, this week I'm kind of taking it not easy but like I'm doing my workouts at like a normal hour <laughs> but next week I believe I'm starting my workouts like right after Sahur so that's gonna be interesting um, but I think it's gonna be positive and I'm like excited to see 
the changes that my body goes through this month and I've, I've genuinely just been enjoying this like new journey that I've been on and I've been reluctant to share it because I feel like every time I do share it I always end up eating my words after so quite literally but yeah alhamdulillah I've lost at this point like almost 15 pounds yeah I think like almost 15 pounds which is like I feel like I don't give myself enough credit for that, um, but I'm really proud of myself. So yeah, um, on top of that, I just feel like there's been a lot of hate on Muslim creators in general, and I've personally like seen it firsthand, uh, like in real life, like people that I'm around, like mess talking <laughs> or talking bad upon and gossiping to like about other Muslim influencers, like in front of me. And it makes me so uncomfortable because I'm like, you're basically talking about me too. Like, even though you're directing at this specific person, like I post the same content. I've posted beauty and lifestyle content since I was 16 years old. There's been many tragedies since 20, 2011. Um, and I haven't changed to like a news source. Like that's not what this platform is for. And of course I will always share important things on here but at the end of the day like i i'm not <laughs> like a political science major i don't know much about politics and i try to educate myself and share what i can from others content but like i talk about beauty and lifestyle here and it can definitely feel in insensitive sometimes but that's what i've created my career upon and like many other people they can't just like quit their jobs and find something else like everyone that's working for the government right now like am i going to tell you to just quit your job no i'm not going to do that but like it's just i don't know i feel like i'm talking in circles and like <laughs> this is basically just a little rant slash venting session girl talk but it's just been a weird weird time on the internet um and inshallah this ramadan we can all come out better people and you know, maybe not talk down on people you have no idea about. That would be really nice. But anyways, aside from that, um, I had questions from people about whether or not I'm still thinking about moving to New York. And it is still on the table. Um, it's funny because we were actually supposed to, initially when we were talking about it, we we're like, yeah, we're going to be out by the end of this lease. And this lease ended up in February. <laughs> Um, obviously that did not happen. Um, we had to place the move on hold for a couple reasons. And honestly, even right now, like in an ideal world, if I could be by coastal, that'd be amazing. Um, and I think eventually we may end up on the East coast just cause it's closer to family, but I don't know, just moving, ooh, moving across the United States just seems so daunting. But I don't know, I feel like also it's been five years since I've been living here. It'll be five years in May, which is so crazy to think about. It's half a decade. Um, and I'm just itching for change. Like, I really am. I'm the type of person that, like, thrives in different, in new environments. And, like, because we've spent so much time in New York over the past, like, six months. Like, well, not over the past six months, but, like, in 2023. Like, I just felt this, like, new energy in me that I really want to explore. So, if it happens, it happens. I'm going to make a lot of dua and, you know, pray about it and stuff this Ramadan. And, you know, hopefully I get clarity on it, inshallah. But that's that's what's going on. Um, what else is new in my life that I haven't updated you guys on? I think that's pretty much it. I've been, like, extremely busy lately. Um, for those of you who do know, um, Risky has been with me since 2021, I want to say. We started working part-time and then over the last year or so, we've been on a more like full-time schedule. But unfortunately, she actually found a new job um, that she's really excited about. And yeah, so Risky is no longer my full-time assistant, which like makes me so sad. It really does but she is kind of like still here um not physically but like still doing some like admin work for me um throughout the week so 
because of that I've been extremely slammed <laughs> um, I just feel like I'm like drowning a little bit um, and inshallah it can get better my husband has been helping me a lot lately which is really nice and I think we've always kind of like toyed with the idea of like actually working together he's a fashion designer so like he's been helping me create potential things that you may see <laughs> sometime later down the line so we're already kind of working together in some capacity but I think now more than ever I actually do need some hands-on help so we've been kind of just experimenting with that obviously like husband and wife working together doesn't always work the best so we're trying to give each other grace and like figure it out one step at a time but like if there was ever a time I needed help it is right now because <sighs> Why do I decide to do these Ramadan dailies again? I don't know. I don't know. It really is. It's a lot of work, y'all. So I really hope you do appreciate them and enjoy them. But anyways, I feel like I've just been rambling for so long. Um, I feel like I also need to just do a Q&A at some point soon because it's been a while since I got to just chat with you guys and update you on my life. But tomorrow I have a workout at 9 a.m. I think. So I'll film that. Um, and kind of, it'll be my first workout of Ramadan. So, inshallah, that all goes well. <laughs> but today, I actually, I had a lot of energy up until like 5 o'clock. Like 5.30, 5.15 is when like, I think both my husband and I, like something just hit us like a brick. And we were just like exhausted, like lightheaded, exhausted. I had to lay down for like an hour. But aside from that, like I feel like if I'm doing my workout in the morning, I think I'll be fine, inshallah. So... I'm excited for that, but um, I'm going to end this vlog here because there's not much left for the day. Um, I'm going to have some ice cream <laughs> uh, from Bakio de Latte that you guys saw me purchase. When was it? I don't even remember, but it's so good. Let me show you. It's like the chocolatiest ice cream ever. Oh my God. Well, it's gelato technically, but... Dare I say there's almost too much chocolate in here. <laughs> it's a lot of, it's a lot of chocolate. I'm gonna enjoy that. And then um, just call it a night. I wanna try and be in bed by like 10 or 10.30 tonight. So I can like wake up for suhoor, eat something, and then sleep a little bit more and then go to my workout. So yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me on day one of Ramadan. Um, I hope day one went well for you guys and Inshallah, it continues to get better. But um, I will, of course, have all my donation links down below so you guys can check it out. I'm fundraising this year um, as part of the Four Mama campaign by Islamic Relief USA and also building a hospital in Mali and also humanitarian and medical aid for Gaza through um, Human Concern International, who is actually on the ground in Gaza. So those links will always be in my description throughout the month of Ramadan so be sure to always check that and donate generously and with your sincere intention um, during Ramadan our deeds our good deeds are multiplied so this is my personal favorite time to do charity to do good um, to feed people to just make people happy it's just you know obviously you should always strive to do that but during Ramadan it's like you just get some, a little extra sprinkle of rewards so like why not um i love you guys subscribe to my channel if you're new and i will see you tomorrow in another episode of the ramadan daily bye everyone Mwah.